This is Mitchell Zoller for Global Medical News Network. Rheumatologist Jürgen Braun, director of the Rheumatology Center in Hanna, Germany, talked about using tumor necrosis factor inhibitors in patients with ankylosing spondylitis. We have the positive data on the clinically very impressive uh, efficacy of these compounds already since uh, ten, about 10 years now, uh, but it, it, it gets more and more substantiated and as, as um, as I pointed out, uh, th th there's a main difference to, to uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and this is that conventional DMARDs do not work for the axial symptoms. There is clearly no evidence that they, they, they have efficacy, and this this makes uh, this brings the, the uh, TNF inhibitors into almost first line of therapy. I mean, first line is and conventional therapy is based on NSAIDs. And if, if uh, these uh, drugs do not work uh, sufficiently, then uh, the rheumatologist uh, may consider to use uh, these uh, um, effective anti-inflammatory agents. Uh, uh, I think we have uh, four uh, anti-TNF agents now approved by the EMEA and the FDA. And, and particularly the monoclonal antibody agents uh, seem to be the most effective in these patients? Well, uh, all anti-TNF agents work similarly well for the spine and the peripheral joints and the entheses. There is a little um, a difference when you look at uh, the gut uh, because uh, the soluble receptor uh, has no indication for Crohn's uh, disease or ulcerative colitis and it also seems to work a little bit less uh, well for psoriasis and uh, also the data for uveitis uh, would be in favor of the, the monoclonals. So if you have significant uh, um, uh, clinical disease in these other sites, then you would consider to use uh, rather a monoclonal. Uh, on the other hand, uh, if you look at safety, uh, there may be uh, a slight, uh, uh, um, slightly uh, more uh, uh, arguments uh, to go for it on a sense. Mm. And finally, uh, so the publication of these guidelines, which I know is expected out shortly, what do you see as the implications for this um, endorsement of this approach for managing these patients? What might it potentially mean for managing their disease? Well, I think it's, it's uh, important and very clear that uh, uh, NSAIDs are what you use first. And if the patient has uh, persistently active disease, uh, use them uh, uh, on a daily basis, not uh, on demand. Um, use, uh, uh, consider uh, a conventional DMARD if uh, the peripheral disease is, is, is the biggest problem yes. of the patient. And if uh, there is a persistently active uh, spinal inflammation, uh, then uh, consider to use uh, a biologic. For Global Medical News Network, this is Mitchell Zoller.